Hello. Hmm. Snacky, snacky poo. What are you gonna do when animal gets to dress you? He should be able to dress you for a week. Why? What did he win? If he beat you in bagels and locks. Yeah, and what if I beat him? Can I just kill him? That's fine. Try. I could easily kill you. You idiot. How would you kill him? I would get a gun and yeah, I would you shoot him. You better. It's literally the only way you kill me. Hmm, we'll see. You shoot me in a dream, you better wake up and apologize. You would need a gun or a knife. Like a big knife. You think if sna like you started that side of the room, he started there, he had a knife, he'd be able to kill you? Not like a fucking massive knife, but like well, sharp enough one, that he could stab you with, but he's like only gotta get me once is the problem. Like I think stabbing someone like in the in a kill zone well, it's very with, hard. with a clean shot is probably really difficult, especially yeah. when they're like defending themselves and you're you know. Well I would throw it at him. Because he's not a really, really bad idea. I would really hope you did that. would That'd be so scary if you got a knife thrown at you, though. My you should see the game on my phone I'm playing. I'd kill you throwing a knife. Look at this. I'll show you. I don't need you to show me. I believe you. I also don't care. But you think I would miss? Look at this. Yeah, I mean, I, but you probably hit me with the back of the knife and it won't matter. Yeah, but you'll go down. And then once you're down, I wouldn't. What you is die. This? What, is it a steak knife? What do you have? A cleaver? Like, a you're knife. literally just tapping the button. I wouldn't miss you. There's no doubt in my mind that the handle would hit Animal if you threw a knife at him. He'd get a, he'd have a bruise. It's the worst thing that would come out of that. Nah, he'd be dead. I'd bum rush you. That's why I feel like you would just bum rush him and like it'd be over. You might take a, sh like you'd a like you'd you know, gotta come like this so you could, if he swings. Nah, the move him. would be like you, you would like come to bum rush him and then like as you're down tackling him, you just fucking <laughs> right, right on your back and his game over. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do that. First of all, first of all, you never attack a guy with a knife. Oh, you so run from a guy with a knife. A gun, you attack. A knife, so you run. It's the smartest thing you said. That's true. Why the fuck would you it's run not, at a guy it's with not a gun? From him. So don't give him any credit. Why would you? Uh, why would you run at a guy with a gun and not away? Because if you run away, they could just shoot you. Yeah, you but run like, at him, you can take the gun, you can take control versus a knife. You run away, they, what are they going to do? Throw it at you like him? Nah, yeah, Snacks is accurate. Nah. Jimmy Hoffa said this, okay? This is this is real advice. <laughs> Jimmy did say that. That's, probably, was probably, that's what he taught his son. Yep. Fucking stupid kid. Got him killed anyway. That's true. <laughs> what is that on your shirt? What do you mean? Those look like... Uh, Little peacocks. Okay. Those, not, those aren't anything specific? I don't think so. A few things came to mind. Looks like, uh, you know, like some bagel stores sell like colored bagels. Oh, yeah, yeah, Looks yeah, like that. Like maybe Patrick's like. Day bagel? Yeah, maybe like a. Uh, or a Cinnabon. Or no, a, it's like a peacock, I think. Or a it's lollipop. Like, you know those big lollipops that are like colored? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I'm peacocking. So. I like to think of something sugar related on your shirt. I'd like to take a bite out of the titty. Snacks? No. Are oh. we recording? Yeah. <laughs> we, do, we don't been recording. I was going to say because I wanted to start the episode. And no, I'm not saying I suck at fantasy football. I'm Which you do. That's a bad look for you. <laughs> it's finally. A lot of screenshots coming out of I that. I finally got this bad boy off the table. I made a little video, which you will see, where I was going to come in. I had the, We had the camera all set up. We were going to make this a nice little vlog intro where I come in and I rip this thing off. And Nick had no idea we were going to get his reaction live. But uh, Your setup was terrible. Someone, someone didn't hit record on the camera. All right. We're in the city. We're approaching Nick's apartment. We're getting ready to film Fade the Public this week. But before we do that, there's something that I need to do because it's been bothering So. Animal tells me, he's like, we're on our way. 
I'm going to come. You have to set up the camera like usual where you guys are watching us from and like hit record when I'm there. And he texts me. He goes, we're five minutes out. So I figure, I figure he's going to text me when they're outside so that I could hit record on the camera and then say whatever it was into the camera and then he can come in. But he just comes in out of nowhere <laughs> and thinks I'm going to like have hit record and said something into the camera five minutes before he's here like i, I just, that's so he does the whole thing be, he comes in he's got the raw motion he goes exactly in front of the thought. camera nick comes up he goes what are you doing I, was, oh, I, just, I hear animal making a goes, fucking come i'm downstairs yeah the camera wasn't rolling i hear animal, i thought animals like wrestling somebody next thing i walk up is like the camera's not even fucking on yeah it's real unfortunate i did capture some of the footage on my cell phone we'll see if we put it in here or not if you guys see it but Listen, this thing has been a stain on this table that I've Shouldn't made. you have this known? Shouldn't you have not known not to do it when you didn't see me upstairs? Because you wouldn't have been able to get my reaction? I mean, if you saw me coming, I came in real hot. Like a bad out of I came hell. in real hot. I didn't even see you. I just... just. But the whole point was to get to my reaction. So you, yeah. I'm not there. Well, listen, you know... You're fucking fired, honestly. It was, it was planned. It, it didn't work out. There was some some communication issues. So, yeah, that's why we don't have a vlog this week. Uh, suck it. I don't know what else to tell you. Suck you it. You suck at fantasy football. You do. I can't wait to staple that back on next time you come in. <laughs> Shit. I, you know what I wanted to do, but you weren't here? I was would have liked to take it and then run out and then like run down the street and like fucking throw it in a dumpster or something. <laughs> like no one would have known you did that though. But I was going to have my camera recording. But once uh, that you know, actually you, would have been funny. Once you crushed my dreams in the first shot, it was already over. So no vlog this week. Sorry. You're not sorry. No, nah, I'm not. You're a sorry piece of shit. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry because you know what? I, 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 try, I had something planned and I tried to make it happen. You know, it didn't work out. Y- Yannick I tried. Got, Yannick got kicked off chess.com. How? What did you hold on? Was can you send images in the chat? How do you get kicked off a of chess? Why is there a chat for the people? 100%. Yeah. He's probably, chat, yeah. yeah, like he got an email. I'm sorry to say that your chess.com account has been muted because we have determined it to be in violation of our terms and conditions found here. So he's definitely talking a lot of shit. Oh, all chats. right. It, no, it's it's he can't chat. Your ability to chat publicly is now restricted for twenty four hours. Yeah, because hours. he was probably. I can't saying, imagine what he was saying. Probably he was saying ridiculous shit. You can't chat. imagine. I mean, <laughs> you can't I, imagine. I can imagine. I can imagine. He answers every text we send out from the Big Dogs text platform. Oh, no, does he? Me and him have a. I'm actually going to read you our our conversation. It's actually ridiculous up to this point. Let me try to find it if I can. He's a loon. Penis. He's, he's a great loon. Penis. <laughs> coochie. Poop, <laughs> poopy. Ass to mouth. Mouth to toes. Boob in my suckle. I'll suckle your bung. Are these like just him or is this you back This is me and him back and forth. <laughs> um, who's suckling who's bum? This is me. This is him. <laughs> Coochie. Penis. Poopy. Ass to mouth. Mouth to toes. Boob. <laughs> in my suckle. I'll suckle your bung. <laughs> nice. And then the last few ones are like a little out of control that I don't really want to bring up. Not live on air. That's respectable. That's fine. Oh, you know what? I just actually speak the devil. Just got a notification on uh, one of the, the on the Animals House video. Cali Dog 310 commented, sup. Love that. There's nothing better than f- a 5 a.m. upload with a 5.01 a.m. <laughs> comment from Yannick. Yeah. Nothing gets my uh, nothing gets my su- my bung suckled more than that. All right. What are we doing today? Uh, you want to hit What's the cracking, big dogs? Welcome by. <laughs> Did that just kill you? Just killed me. That just killed me. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Snacks, can you, like, look alive? Stop playing Dude, chess? I, no offense. I'm not playing chess. We've been here for four hours and done nothing. Woo. Then so, you should have done something. Well, what did you want to do? You guys were talking stock for four hours. There's nothing to do with this. You wiped all energy out. We should have done it live Friday because it's going to be just as useless as what goes on today. So go ahead. Disagree. My energy's here. Just waiting. Seems like your energy's in the wrong place. Seems right? like someone it's didn't get AMC awful. stonks. Yeah, someone <laughs> didn't buy any someone stonks Someone didn't today. get AMC stonks, baby. This is a Fade the Public podcast. My name is Nicholas. That is Animal. And that is... I don't even really want to talk to him or about him today. That is stanks. That's, I will gladly not say a word all day. That's not snacks. That's not stonks. Gladly. That's stanks. I will sit here and say nothing. Animal, what are we doing? Uh, I don't really know because, you know, listen, so I'm the, the producer of the show, kind of, so I you know, usually will have stuff for us to do and, you know, topics, uh, segments, whatever you want to call it. Two weeks in a row. I put all my energy into the uh, the award show and then I kind of just, like, quit for two weeks. So I haven't really come up with anything for the show, which is why, you know, well, last week was different because last week we had, a, you know, a COVID incident. We couldn't get together, so we had to do that, that Zoom thing. But uh, this week, I have nothing planned. We're going to talk a little bit about the Super Bowl, but not really in-depth because next week's the Super Bowl episode. But, you know, maybe we'll talk a little bit about 
uh, the AFC and the NFC games, maybe a quick reaction, but not a lot. We're going to do a lot of Q&A. We're going to do some Q&A for sure. And then so, it's a lot so of make sure that, uh, bullshit. Make sure that you text us because we will do your Q&A on here next time if you text us things that Yannick sent to us. 646-328-6601. 646-328-6601. Text us and we'll answer your questions. Okay. Where do you want to start? You want to get the game out of the way or do you not even want to do Scott, it? Scott, hit the intro. I mean, I'm down to do the games, I guess. I mean, it's really just talk, saying Matt LaFleur is a piece of shit. Yeah, like how, in how many different variations can we say that? That becomes the question. Well, if you want to start with this. Matt LaFleur is a piece of shit. The Go. NFC Championship Your game turn. between the Buccaneers and the Packers. All of us, I think, are in agreement that Matt LaFleur is a, is a big puss. It's big a big, puss. big old puss. Big I, puss. Big, wide. We all know what happened with the situation puss. with the, you know, the fourth down call to kick the field goal. Let me, let, let's put it this way. Like, let's try to be objective. In what world, what outcome did he see happening? So here's, here? here's my big brain has come to this conclusion. He needed a two-point conversion no matter what. He needed a touchdown and a two-point conversion. He wanted to do it where the two-point conversion would have been to protect them from losing to a field goal so they would have a tie versus making it so that the two-point conversion would make it so that they tie the game to go to overtime. You see what I'm saying? No. It's just so stupid, though, because if he gets the ball back, that when they score that touchdown, there's going to be like eight seconds left anyway. Well, yeah, I agree. It was it's just totally they, wrong. They've got 31 decision. points on the day. It's Tom Brady. He needs to convert one fucking first down. Like, I, I just... You have Aaron Rodgers, and you need eight yards to score a There's touchdown. no room for error. There's no margin for okay, error there. Even if, and even if you don't get it, you're, you pin them back at their own eight-yard line. Yeah, like you have to stop them anyway, so why not try and stop them from the two-yard line? As opposed to giving them all that room. But that goes to what I'm saying, whereas if they... You know, say they go for it on the fourth down, they don't get it. Now they have to stop them. They need to score a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie the game versus scoring a touchdown to win it with the two-point conversion to give them the field goal cushion where that if Tom Brady marches down the field to kick a field goal, the game's tied now. They don't lose. Versus it would have been a tie game. Tom Brady gets the ball back with like a minute and a half. And I, listen, I'm, I'm, I don't agree with it. I'm you, sound like a little, you sound like a little floor hype guy. No, I'm telling you that's probably what sound like a yes man. big dumb brain was thinking. I, I tweeted that... I would fire Matt LaFleur on the field. I wouldn't even let him in my locker room. You're done, buddy. I, I would kill him. You are done. Are you kill kidding him. me? Aaron Rodgers? It's a four-down territory. When, fourth and goal. First and goal, you tell him, hey, Aaron, we got four plays minimum. All right? That's so fucking frustrating as a player, too. Like, you just want to... Uh, he could have shown well, some balls, we, too. We yeah. talked about this saying, like, if that's Tom Brady, I think Tom Brady, like, waves the field goal unit off. Like, the, he, there's no yeah. way they're kicking yeah. the field. No way. Aaron Rodgers just, just, just goes just went off the field. He just and goes, oh, well, I'll talk about it in my second, interview Second-year coach Matt LaFleur kicks off top five quarterback of all time, Aaron Rodgers, in the NFC Championship game. Yeah, I'm sorry. Aaron, grow, had, grow a pair, Aaron. If you had any balls, you would have told the field goal unit to fuck off, and you would have told Matt LaFleur to, to fuck, fuck off. To fuck off, right. And said, we're running the play. Let's go. How about Uncle Lenny? How about playoff Lenny? I mean, it's playoff Lenny. It's the real deal. Where's he going to sign next year? Ooh. I already Denver. know. I already know. Denver. He's Don't going, say that. He's going to Philly. It. I can see it. He's going to go to Philly. But, like, really? You think? Yeah. That's my hot take, and I'm, like, really sure of it now. The more I say it, the more I feel Is like Is there, I'm like, right. a connection there, or you just feel it? No, I just, I really feel it. You just, like, think it's because it's going to fuck Miles Sanders, and that's, like, part of your reasoning? It's, like, it's not even really personal at this point, which that would be, like, the most <laughs> personal move ever. Like, <laughs> Lenny, Lenny like, fucking I, me. I saw that video you made. It's, like, a double, it's, like, a double <laughs> fuck. I'm getting train run on me from the Sanders and the Fournette side. It just makes sense. Like, they want a big guy that doesn't need to have Miles Sanders on the field for the whole time. He's just like a better version of Jordan Howard. They tried to do it with Jordan Howard last year. It didn't fucking work. Or they tried to do it with... Uh, they, yeah, they brought on Jordan Howard at the end of the yeah, year. Yeah, he didn't do shit. Yeah, get Fournette back there. He's, 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 I mean, he's been fucking good the last couple of games. So, he's going to Philly. No doubt in my mind. It's locked in. All so right. If you have great, him on your dynasty fit. roster, great just... Fit. If you have him on your dynasty roster, just make moves as if he's on Philly. Cause that's what's that's happening. Interesting. All right. So, Leonard Fournette going to Philly. Uh, anything else from this game other than the fact that Tom Brady is this offseason still has the mo has as many NFC Championship game victories. So let, let me ask you, Brady. That's not true. Does, that's not true. No, that said that too. Oh. Does Brady? What what are the situations for Brady? I think he comes back next year. One hundred percent, regardless. Yeah. He's yeah. Regard, two or regardless, three more years. right? He can't wait to post the fucking so, IG videos. So Gronk, you think he starts a dynasty with the Bucks now? 
Well, he's not going to leave the Bucks. That's for sure. He's no. definitely run it back with that. I think he runs it back. I think Gronk comes back for another year. Yes. Uh, I think they lose God. I don't think Godwin comes. back. I think they franchise Godwin. I think that's stupid. Why? They have enough. Sky Miller's yeah. fine. He'll swipe in. They need. I don't know. Uh, about they that. should. They should. Beef I think up, they want to get line. Uh, Tyler Johnson involved too. Maybe. But beef like, up the. I think it's just to to, to pay Godwin twenty million for this year when they they could probably use. Like what, about, what about AB? What about AB? They're bringing back one of them. You know Brady's going to fight I for AB. I would bring back AB. Brady's so going to fight. How much cheaper is AB going to be? He's going to be like $14 million so dollars, probably. He's old. He's, he'll get like a one-year deal. Like, you know, he'll like he'll one year, get like eight, eight, $9 million. Yeah, yeah, so I, think I think he'll get like 13 and a half. If they win a Super Bowl and he can have like have a chance to play with Tom again and win a Super Bowl, he'll take a $9 million. You know Tom's going to be like, I want Gronk back. I want AB back. I don't think AB's going to go anywhere. No, I think Godwin's as good as gone because Godwin's looking for a five to six-year deal. Like He's looking for that long-term money. He's thinking like, yeah, Tom Brady's going to be here one more year. And, and he's what? saying they I get might that. not have a chance. The Bucks don't have a choice. Yeah. I just don't think that's a, a, a pretty good use of resources. We'll see. Because they definitely could use a cornerback. Yeah, well, probably beef up the. I mean, they're going to have to. Do they pay Shaq Barrett? Because if I, they I, should. I would. Shaq if not, Barrett. then you franchise tag him. I mean, what do you do? Like, there's so many. I I prioritize Shaq Barrett here. And yeah, Godwin. Here. Godwin is literally the bottom of my list compared to Barrett. He had a great me? game, but no. Nah. All right. Well, you heard it here first. Godwin gets that franchise tag. Oh, real quick though, you're buying us Knicks tickets. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll we'll work out the details of that. We were spot on on that. That yep. was beautiful. Yeah, we'll work out the details of that when we're allowed to go back. And you know, are there any fans in stadiums now? No, basketball, none at all. No. Well, there's a couple. Like I think uh, Dallas has like a thousand people that go. So no, how many how many people <laughs> no, are going to be allowed like at the Super Bowl? I think sixty five hundred or something? something like that. Yeah, yeah. but th- then there's like uh, those tickets must be insane. Uh, I think they're not doing it no, like that not. because they know they're like eight thousand. Yeah, which is normally still, they're like I I know, but normally they're like, like it's like three thousand for like nosebleeds. Yeah, normally, so you know eight thousand, you're probably getting decent seats. Yeah, I would assume they're not putting you up there at the top. I mean, I would hope not. There's a fucking whole stadium, and I think each team gets like two tickets or four tickets. Family, there's like a thousand, fifteen hundred like tickets for just like family. Yeah, so it's it's like like a lot of a lot of teams. A lot of teams are sending like first responders and yeah, it's like seventy five hundred. That's cool. People total, I think. Like the Giants got four tickets and they donated them to healthcare workers and they're going. So that's it's cool little thing the NFL is doing. All right, Bills Chiefs, anything. Matt LeFleur's disgusting decision to kick a field goal is uh, overshadowing Sean McDermott's disgusting decision to kick a field goal. End of the first half, by the way. Yeah, but... He's like, well, we want to get points. Okay, well, you need points for sure, but you, you need, what? How about that roaring start seven they got to? I was going to tweet out, too. I was pissed. I was going to say, well, they got off to nine, nothing started. I was going to say, okay, so they win by... I think it was going to Who, KC? Only, only going to win by 10. When they were up 9 nothing, I was going to take a screenshot. I was like, oh, say, so KC only wins by like 13 instead of 21 or something mm-hmm. like that. I didn't do it because I'm a fucking pussy, but they ended up beat, winning yeah, by 14. Yeah, that was fun. Buffalo mm-hmm. really really got off to the... Off to... They, fell, they fell real fast. They like, they. Just I, I think it's lost. more of a testament of just like how truly dominant this Chiefs team is. Well, all around, like their defense is sneaky good, man. Like they're, they're, It is. They put defense, pressure on the quarterback. Mm-hmm. Well, not even that, but like... The fact that like the wide receivers have been sneaky, like having bad games against the Chiefs, and no one's really talked about it at all. Like they've been shutting down wide receivers, and it's just never it's never been discussed. Like no one's really ever mentioned. And like that's why Stephon Diggs was a huge, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Letdown. P- Le- yeah, a huge letdown for for you know betters and you know, you DFS sad. people and stuff because you have a guy that's you know averaging like a hundred yards a game and you know has the most receptions in his career. Well, Vegas knew And you're thinking the Chiefs, like, that Chiefs defense lets up a ton of points. Like, you're thinking, like, whatever, Stephon Diggs, great matchup. It's always, it's always like, when offenses score a lot of points, you don't even have to – if the defense is ranked number one, it's automatically think that the other, they're just going to let up a lot of points. And that's what the Chiefs are because they're sneakily a pretty good defense. And the Honey Badger's all over the field. He yeah. Is yeah. He's fucking a savage. a great ball player. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's but the recap. no real surprise there for me. No. I didn't. I didn't think. No, for, not for either of us. I mean, us, yeah, I him. mean, uh, listen. Animal was shocked as a guy who picked the Bills and the Packers. Not a surprise. The I, um, I mean, listen, I, I'm, a, I'm a Tom Brady in the playoff guy. I just wanted to see it differently. So I thought that if I had, you know. Oh, if I had my, if I had my choice, I probably would want Packers-Bills. That it's would be the completely way. Completely different. It's such a better Super Bowl. It's so for, different. For, like, just yeah. everything instead of, like, oh, it's Tom Brady again. And, uh, the oh, Chiefs and again. we got Pat Mahomes, the new Tom Brady. Like, it's, you know, fuck that. I, want, I wanted Bills and Packers. So that's why I picked it. I'm probably pretty fucking upset if I'm uh, a Pro Bowl guy. 
like a like Justin Jefferson, Pro Bowl canceled and shit, like not getting to go to Hawaii for Honestly, the year. Oh, I mean, maybe the, just the Hawaii part, but like I feel like they don't. That's care what about I mean. The, oh the no, Pro like Bowl. no one actually so cares about actually playing. Play the yeah. game, no. But like it's probably cool meeting all the dudes. It's not like you meet all the players throughout the year and stuff. Well, just yeah, the guys it's cool like team. play with guys who are probably gonna retire in a year or two. Like he probably you know yeah. seen like Julio or some shit like that. Yeah, you know? now he doesn't get to go. It's yeah, it's fucking well, sad. I'm sorry, whatever. Whatever. I'm just I just see it on the top. It says canceled. I'm like, you know what? Fucking let's take a moment. More important things in life than the Pro Bowl. I don't know how many more important things, but I don't know if I can name anything less important than the Pro Bowl. All right, so next week, stay tuned for the Super Bowl episode because we'll get we'll get into the Super Bowl. We're not going to talk about it today. No, there's no point. No, there's no point. Well, next week is the actual. You know, that's the that's the Super Bowl week. We'll have the Super Bowl episode, Super Bowl episode. Are we allowed to say Super Bowl? Why wouldn't we? I don't know because like on the radio and stuff, they have to say the big game. Wait, can't say Super Bowl. <laughs> Why? Is it like copyrighted? Yeah, it's there's some, I don't know what it is. Like the I'm NFL like copyrighted Super the Bowl. Super Bowl. They say the big game. All right, I'm gonna make a T-shirt that literally just says Super Bowl on yeah. it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, too. I'm gonna what? say copyright B- BDG. It was more. It was more so a follow up of like, why is that? Well, I don't understand. What, what I've never NFL? heard that. Well, we'll listen to the case. Well, I'm, I'm sure it has to do with the NFL. Like, it's fucking, just so stupid. It's ridiculous. How can you do that? Like they go to Radio Row the week of the Super Bowl. They go to Radio Row and they're not allowed to say. Uh, but that doesn't even make sense because wouldn't you want everyone to be saying it because like you for searches think. and like just yeah the you fact would that, like, think you're promoting the that's Super why, Bowl. That's why I was always confused why they couldn't uh, enter for your chance. Is this the truth? Is he making this I'm, completely this up? This sounds, sounds so farcical. Sounds like I swear I listen to the radio all the time and they definitely say Super Bowl. They like, say where it, but pull, they, where are you pulling this out of your ass? From? I listen to the Michael K show every fucking day. You guys will see. You'll see. I mean, the Super Bowl is one week though, like every day. What do you? When they go to Radio Row, obviously they can't this year. You go to Radio Row, they were not allowed to say Super Bowl. They were saying the big game. It's so random. Why it has would I to make be, it up? It has to be with the N- Yeah, like, I'm gonna, I will look this up. I'm sure you're, like, actually right, but it's just so dumb. It's Why moronic. are the stores and radio stations not allowed to say Super Bowl? The NFL owns the trademark to Super Bowl and has a history of being extremely... I listen so much radio. ...businesses that try to capitalize on the event. But, I'm sorry. But like yes, I've, it you've is definitely st- heard it everywhere. It's stupid. No, I get it's very like, stupid. I want to know how. Like, is that it's the same way that like Dana White like won't let people stream the fucking UFC. Fucking no, shit. it's not even close to the same. S- same principle, same concept. No, no, it's literally the same thing. They own it. it. They don't it's want a, other people. It's a, it's a word. It's two words. Whatever. It's two <laughs> words. They don't. I, I, I agree. It's the stupidest thing in the world. I don't understand. That's like you telling people they can't say big dogs. You can't say that. They can't. You're not allowed to sh- shut your mouth. It makes no sense. Makes, Maybe they makes think a it's lot already of it's makes a lot big of enough. They don't. I, it, it, I don't get it at all. It's the stupidest thing in the world. What if I had a big ass bowl and I just wanted to call it a Super Bowl? Like all their ads and their promotions, they you'll, we may hear one. Get ready for the big game between like, the, the Bucks and the Chiefs. By, that doesn't make sense. Like I, you're allowed to physically say the word Super Bowl. Yeah, you just can't that. advertise it. Well, so like if I, you're in your kitchen and you talk about a big bowl, like the NFL is not going to come down on you. Well, if I wanted to make like a big ass bowl and call it the Super Bowl, then that would be a problem, and I understand that. <laughs> make a big ass bowl. Like if I want to make a big cereal bowl, but I call it like the Super Bowl, That'd obviously, be fine. no, it's probably you probably can't. I'll, I'll let you do it's it. It's probably copyrighted where I can't call something. A I'll Super talk bowl. to my people. But if we're talking about the Super Bowl, you should be able to call it the Super Bowl. Are we talking too much on this too? No, it's just it's very it's a, just clearly one of the most controversial topics going on in the the industry right now. So, well, so next week we'll talk about the big game. <laughs> <laughs> big big episode for the big game. Let's take some Q and A's. Animal, what meal do you eat before you die? Oh, like like last meal. You can take that however you want. What meal do you eat before? Like I'm on death row. Before snack stabs, throws his knife at you. So I'm on death row. I'm sitting there and they say, "Animal, here's you got it. Is it a meal or is it like one?" What food meal item? do you eat before you die? Why you gotta do? Why you gotta make this I'm, so dramatic? Because I like I want a couple things. You can get whatever you want. All right. Well, I'm having a steak, medium rare. Having blueberry pancakes, some fried chicken, um, a little bit of sushi because I haven't ate it in years and I just want to taste it before I die again. Um, why have you eaten sushi in years? Ani sakate. It's a uh, it's a parasite. I got scared of it. You can get it. Have you gotten it? Or you, got, or you just got scared of it? I might have. So what happens is when you get it, you get like a sharp pain in like your side here. It's probably called food poisoning. Your body takes care of it and it goes away. I get you that poop, every Saturday morning. You poop it out. You poop it out. So it's not like a big deal. But it freaked me out. Then, you know, you can get parasites from the raw fish. So I said, fuck it. I don't want to eat sushi anymore. So I stopped eating sushi. So I'd have that on Maybe there. you're going to die, so you might as well. Might as well eat the sushi now. And uh, fish tacos. I mean, that's, favorite, that's like one eight, of my favorite foods. Eight different meals. I think I would just dominate a bunch of dessert. 
like a fuckload. I don't the know. The problem is you're gonna feel like shit though, and then like right before you do die. Do I do I need to like what? say it doesn't fucking you're matter? You're gonna die. Yeah, but you don't want to like be dying like feeling like like a sugar hangover. You actually day. shit regardless. I think when you die, like when you when they kill you, you just shit everywhere. Well, I'm not talking about shitting. I'm saying like you don't want to be like. I'm I'm f- I'm. I promise you, like I'll you be fine. Feel if, like if shit. I'm like, oh my tummy hurts. Like before they were about yeah, to. Yeah, you don't want to be going into the electric chair with a tummy ache, man. Why not? Be sick. Know. Positive vibes only. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I would. Maybe I would. The generator will blow. <laughs> you get you another. I would set the Guinness Book of World Records for most oatmeal cream pies stacked on top of each mm-hmm. other and eaten at once. I would do fifty. I would do fifty. I'd have Domino's. I would try fifty and squish it down like this. Domino's yeah. macaroni meatballs. That's from SpongeBob, right? Bread. Where Patrick eats like ten burgers at once and he just yeah, like, shoves it in his mouth. Cartoons make food look so good. Then, no, that's actually Squidward because he gets fat as fuck from eating yeah, all the Krabby Patties. He goes into the Krabby go right Patty. To your hips. I would do the Krabby Patty scene from SpongeBob with Maybe oatmeal, oatmeal well. cream pies. You do like Krabby Patty. How big is the gap between Taylor and Dobbins for you in Dynasty? Honestly, it's not, not that, big. that big. I would say Taylor's probably mid first, Dobbins maybe end of first, early second. Yeah, it's not that same big. tier or different tiers for you guys. Uh, well, I'd say the same. I, I would go different. I do think same. the Ravens are going to have a second back there, regardless of. I think they've resigned Gus Edwards. I think he's a restricted free agent, so I think he probably uh, continues to eat. Him. Probably continues to eat into like thirty percent of the workload there. I think Taylor will probably be like a twenty plus touch guy for the next three years. Yeah, I mean, I Taylor's. I, I have Taylor slightly above just yeah. because of the fact that better all line, just an all around better roster. I think. I don't and, think it's a massive move up. Like, it, what would it take for you to move? Like, if you owned Taylor and you wanted to drop down, to, this is where I think it gets more practical. You'd be like, oh, they're really? But, like, if, if Taylor's on your team and someone offered you Dobbins, what would they have to throw on top? Would, would like, so, an early second? Like a wide receiver two or an early second. An early second would do it for you? Dobbins plus an early second? For sure. And you'd I'd give up fu- Taylor? I'd be fine yeah. with that. Yeah, for I sure. think that's probably that or it. Or if I need, like, a player, if I get, like, a wide receiver two, someone like that, I would like take MVS? That yeah, for sure. I love MVS. MVS and Lazard, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. What about Dobbins and Carlos Hyde? For Taylor, I said receiver, you idiot. Well, what if you call size a depth? great pass catcher? He's not bad, one of the best of our time. Ma- Ma- Marlon Mack, maybe, <laughs> dude. Oh, Jonathan Taylor, Marlon Mack package. How about that? No. Package those two, match what you get. You probably Ooh. get you could probably get like the rookie you one one for that. Three Achilles, <laughs> favorite OG MTV show. Oh man, I would have to actually think about it because like the OG ones, like, like. It's not my favorite, but like I'm so thinking like so next. You, so, like you go, all those shows, so you go you know? next, you can go real world, you can go cribs, you can go uh Pimp My Ride. Yo, Pimp My Ride was amazing. Pimp My awesome. Ride was good. Was uh was like the challenge in and that shit, like the early I, 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 Real I, World, Road World, Real yeah, World. Yeah, Real World Road, road rules, rules Challenge. Those, those were always that were good. fucking sick too. I liked all those, man. Cribs, probably, cribs was the one that really I Cribs I was amazing best, yeah. at when it peaked. Yeah, Chris was good. The best was when they went to like Red Man's house, and he was just like he was like rich. He's you know like he's like ten album you know platinum albums deep we, and like in the hood. Like Jackass, Viva the Bam, aren't those all MTV? Yeah, yeah. You can, so Jackass, I think so. Jackass, would Jackass is easily, yeah. and then Wild that Boys would be, be like my close second. Those are MTV, Damn, right? Yo, MTV, like for young kids out there, you guys don't you understand don't like know. how popping MTV was. Dude, like the Viva the Bam and like just those days, with those like shows, too. like CKY, yeah. and all those like things. MTV hits. Like yeah. does that count? Yeah, that TRL was a fucking great show too. as well. Too. Wow, MTV, good. Total days. request live. And then they just and then they, they throw out later later in the day bangers and Jersey Shore comes on and that just Jersey Shore. Oh yeah, it's not really it's an not an OG, but it is like one of the greatest of all time. It is. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, I I definitely go with like Wild Boys, Jackass. What's the biggest Fantasy regret you guys have had all year, trade or missed pickup? Russell Wilson. Easily. The trade in Dynasty? Yeah, our trade? Our trade in Dynasty. You're feeling sh- really shitty about that going awful, forward? Awful. Terrible. Yeah. Like, I, I Why? Because I, you don't believe in Russ anymore? It's Well, it's also, it's partly to do with the timing of the trade. Like, I, we made that trade and then Russ, like, never scored, like, 20 points again. Like, he had, like, one good game yeah, after yeah. that. That was so, wild. <laughs> tra- yeah. It didn't work out for me just in the fact of the trade. But then the fact that I think I gave up too much because I think if I, I would rather have Tyreek Hill in Dynasty with who did I give you? Kirk and Darnold? It was Kirk, Darnold, among other players. Yeah, yeah but like, I don't care about Austin Hooper. Like, fuck him. Hooper, Hill, picks, yeah. Yeah, Ooh. it's more about Hooper and Hill. I mean, it's more about the, the two, two quarterbacks, quarterbacks yeah. and Hill because what happened was when Dak got hurt, I only had Russ Wilson as my quarterback. I was so fucked. I needed that depth. And I'm a guy that preaches depth, so I went against my own. Big preach guy. I, I'm, You know, for Dynasty, I would talk about depth, depth, depth. You know, have depth, have depth. Yeah. And then I fucking nobody, got rid of all nobody. My depth. You have nobody good, but you have depth. I got rid of all my depth, and the next week my fucking QB one goes down. Snacks, no any regrets? I uh, just drafting. I faded 
All wide receivers. You faded your brain. All wide receivers. It yeah. only worked in one league. Yeah. So. I would say Miles Sanders, but, like, I would have made another bad pick there, I feel like, even if I didn't take Sanders. I would have taken another Like, shit. I stepped in E-Town. I stepped in shit. Calvin Ridley in the sixth round. I, to, just, I yeah. think Thielen over JT in that third round was probably yeah. my biggest regret. Even though, like, it didn't feel that way at all for the first, like, ten weeks, obviously. The last, the but last it could have won four, me the championship, right, maybe, right. looking back on it, if I did that. Otherwise, yeah. yeah, it was fine. Hey, damn, you didn't win. That sucks. Sorry. I mean, like. Whatever. Was that like a sarcastic throwing? Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's not like he lost the championship. Uh, yeah, he was never there. Eh. What we got? I'm just, there's a bunch of them. This was to... an NYC trash. Let's not forget that. <laughs> <laughs> what animal does animal think he could beat in a fight? Can't be some pussy animal, though. Oh, dude, I, I've already posted this on my Twitter. I, I've given a list. That was actually one of my favorite tweets you've ever had. I have a list of animals, and I think the, the most controversial one on there was probably either between kangaroo and wolf. Because I think you could, I think you could whoop a wolf's ass. One wolf. Yeah. I mean, and, obviously. And to be, listen, I think you're on, you're underestimating the size of a wolf. Like, wolves are pretty big. Maybe. Like, I'm, I'm probably thinking of, like, a fucking wolf that we've seen in Emerson. You're thinking of, like, a coyote. Something. Yeah, like A coyote, yeah, yeah. I can stomp on my foot. Like, yeah. not a problem. Like, a wolf is, like, German <laughs> Not she- a problem. Like, wolf is, like, German shepherd, but, like, bigger head. You really think you could beat up a kangaroo? I would rip its face Yo, off. Yo, you see that picture of, like, a kangaroo? I don't know if this is real or not, but there's, like, a... The Jack a, kangaroo? No, no. It's, like, a, it's a kangaroo, like, in the Jack middle of a kangaroo. river. It's, like, it's, like, just his head... In the middle well, of yeah, the like river. six feet tall, some of them. Listen, motherfucker, there's a point to what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like his head is just above the water, and it's like kangaroos hang out in rivers in Australia because they're trying to lure different creatures in, and as soon as they lure them in, they drown them to mm-hmm. death. It's yeah. like for no reason. There's no context behind no, this. It's just like what they do. I'm like, yo, kangaroos are fucking assholes. Yeah, well, have you, you know, it's actually weird. I've watched like videos. They used to do it like in like the 70s or 80s or whatever. Like they had like promotions where they would have like a, like a boxer box like a kangaroo, and like the guy's just like punching the kangaroo in the face and it's like kind of fucked up do, do you do you listen <laughs> to uh, you ever listen to impulsive logan paul's uh, podcast not like a lot he did the one with mike tyson like a few weeks ago and yes mike tyson ate a fuckload of shrooms and they were talking about yes. mike tyson's like i saw a lot of the clips from that one he was talking about fighting a kangaroo he's like i'm gonna fight a kangaroo he's like but if they pay me enough man i'll whoop a can he's like he got really like into it and he was talking yeah. about fi- fucking fucking a kangaroo well up. the thing with kangaroos you have to worry about they have the claws on their feet so what they do is they bring you in and they they put that thing yeah like seat. They kangaroo, do, like, kangaroo is like you going in there to box them, but kangaroos are like all yeah, all time yeah, UFC like, fighters. Shit, like fucking, yeah, yeah. Like you're not beating a kangaroo up, man. Well, I'm sorry. There oh, is no. no I'll, kill it. Shit. I'll take its no. back, take its back, and I choke it out. And I'll probably break its neck. Is what I would do. I don't know if you'd be able. That's to That's my strategy. You think behind... you'd be able to get behind it? No. Oh yeah, you wouldn't, absolutely. You wouldn't be able to touch the fucking thing. Absolutely. I might probably grab it by its throat and then a little. Duck a kangaroo under. would kill you. I'll, you know, I'd probably do I'd probably do a super duck. Any of my wrestlers out there, you know what that is? Super duck! Ooh, bam. I'll get in there. I'll cut right around his back. Take it. <laughs> Wolf, I would take it to the ground. All right, we're going to have to make this happen. <laughs> All right. Um, what are each of your go-to drunk snacks? High snack for animal. Pizza. I like a fat-ass fucking sandwich. Like a, a foot and a half long sandwich. Pizza's my, my favorite. Yeah, I would go pizza or like maybe like a big ass burrito. Like a fucking, like a. Burrito's over, so messy. Lo- yeah, Ta- but, like Taco you know, Bell, it's the only problem. I'm in a like messy getting, state. Getting so. there drunk. Taco Bell would, is right up there too. Yeah, I mean, anything that's going to make me feel like shit. Absolutely. How about White, favorite? Oh, White Castle. Fuck. White, White Castle. Castle. Mm. How, how about favorite place to drink? Favorite place to drink? At uh, a house. A stadium. Beach. Or an arena. No. I like beach. Like a house or a backyard barbecue. No, I love tailgate. barbecues. No, a stadium. Absolutely. I like a roof, too. Anywhere out, outside, dude. It's just nice drinking yeah, outside. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, tailgate. I like a summer drinker. I like to drink at barbecues. Like, I'm a big... In a pool. Buy a pool, a pool, drinking, yeah, pool, grill, beach. and there's hot dogs going. The best is day drinking and, like, yes. not knowing you're drunk and then stand... That's why I like the beach, because you're kind of just, like, chilling on the sand for four hours, and you get up, and then you stumble, and you're like, oh, shit. I'm in for I'm in for yeah, a fucking... My problem with the beach, I always day. get, like... I always get a headache and and hung over when I do beach drinking because the sun fucks me up. And I get dehydrated real quick. It's the best part. No, yeah, all the that all the drugs drink hit at once. I got to drink more water. Man, fuck that. Well, they all hit at once. All right. Speaking of, I've said it once. I'll say it again. Animals pantry of best drugs. <laughs> I mean pot, but I don't even know if I would consider pot a drug because I mean I guess they it, use it for medical. Yeah, so it's like, not a drug. I mean, it's technically a drug. So yeah. Okay. Um, let's. Okay. So there's pot. There's mushrooms, there's painkillers, there's cocaine, there's recently added to the mix ketamine. We're going to put that as the we're going to put that as the number last. So I'm a, I can only do um based off of drugs that I've used. 
So, I mean, obviously that's hard. Go, I really like three of them. Weed would go number one. Uh, pills, I don't, I, uh, not a pill guy. I had my, you know, in college, I did some pills and then they're bad for you. So I wouldn't even put that on the list of good. They're not even good drugs. They're bad. They're so good. Let's go with weed. Alcohol is a drug. I don't care whether you want to admit it or not. It definitely is. And I mean, everyone loves a good scotch. Snacks don't. It's a drug. What? Alcohol is a drug. I'm I sorry, don't think buddy. so. <laughs> Alcohol is a drug. So we got weed. We got alcohol. I disagree. Cocaine's fun for a little bit, but it doesn't really. I don't like stuff that you have to keep doing. You know, like I smoke weed. I'm high. That's it. Are you that fucking lazy? It's just like. It's that's, well, that's, 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 that's not correct. Whatever you just said. <laughs> cocaine is expensive and you have to keep doing it. Yeah. Well, co- so, but you co- cocaine lasts for a while. Yeah. It depends. I mean, keep doing it. But like weed too. Weed fades out too. Yeah. I went through a great oxy phase when I had cancer. Yeah, I'm not a... Sounds incredible. Don't, don't Honestly, like it's great. It was great. I, I think to... I would put pills up at number one. I don't do them anymore, but like <laughs> when I did when I did them in like college, we had our spurts. I think that was... I did didn't. <laughs> I did I didn't. <laughs> I, th- I think I'd throw them up there with mushrooms. Those are probably my two favorites. Mushrooms, not a fan of mushrooms either. I like getting I had, drunk, so that's I up there. I have awful... like a 1A, B, C, D. Like I like four yeah. of them a lot. You like a lot of the same drugs too. Like they're all kind of close to each other. Yeah, they all make I, you feel... They all make you feel you nothing. Feel <laughs> yeah. hey, so if alcohol is a drug, shouldn't gambling be a drug? Uh, that's no, that's not, not something all. you put into your body. It's not a substance, idiot. Do you want this to turn into like, like caffeine is a drug? Yeah, I agree. Like nicotine is that a drug. That would be my number one mm. if that was actually a drug. Yeah, like mm. caffeine for sure. I mean, one day, I'm not going to get into it now, but one day I will tell the entire my, my shroom story where I took way too many mushrooms for the first time for anyone to do mushrooms and I tripped for like nine hours in like a crack house in West Virginia. It was crazy. It was crazy. But we'll get to that story another day. That sounds, sounds about right. It, it was. A crack house in Look, West Virginia. Just to sum it up, I, I tunneled into the earth. All right, the house is caught on fire. Everything was red, blue, and purple. This girl was on the bed getting naked. Then. What's wrong with that? None of it happened. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what's wrong with it. None of it happened. Yeah. Public has a large, short position on animal. Money sign A N M L. To the moon. <laughs> Uh, if you're on a plane and the pilot had a heart attack and the only other person on the plane is a monkey and it's telling you that he wants to fly, it just cut off there. Sorry. I didn't read that question. I would let the monkey fly. The plane. I was going to say, how much experience does the monkey have flying? They got big brains. Um, which TV shows you sluts watching? Uh, snacks. I know you're in, you're in one. In the right dark. Now. Yeah. CW show. Snacks, Which, Snacks is a big cornball TV show watcher. Don't even say you're not either. I know. I, C- I meant that as a compliment. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, C- C- dub, the C- CW. Dub? I'm telling you, I was going through it last night. The CW quietly has some of the most underrated shows. Fucking just ever. putting out thumper. It's like a. It's like a small. It's like a non-power five. Right. Com- conference yes, or school they're the, they're in the college. Mac. They're the you know, Mac. They're the Mac. Mac of they're television pumping program. out NFL players. You just don't really know it. They are corny storylines. They are horribly acted, but boy, are they riveting. Riveting. The the hundred is just the one hundred. Yep. Never there's, get over that Riverdale show. Riverdale in the dark. I highly recommend. It. It's only two seasons, twenty six episodes. Very good. I've been watching this show uh, called Halt and Catch Fire. It's phenomenal. It's about like when computers were first started and like the internet is just coming up and it follows all these different little like startups trying to make it in the field. It's fucking invigorating. Mm. It makes me want to build a computer, like a big fucking computer that's big and pl- made out of plastic that's and shit pretty, that's, that that's runs really cool. slow. Yeah. And it's got me. <laughs> It's got me. as big as your refrigerator. Like, and- yeah, bigger, <laughs> bigger, 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 faster, stronger, better. I think next week I'll probably circle circle back to the Sopranos. Obviously. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's where I'm at. I finished my rewatch about three weeks ago, and I'm, I'm itching for more. I've been thinking about starting board uh, Boardwalk Empire. Actually, you never saw, oh, you. I never, I never got finished into that it. I ne- I got, you should watch Boardwalk. Empire. I watched like the first eight episodes, I believe, and then I just like I, I just stopped. It so picks, I want to get back into it's it. It's like a Better Call Saul thing, where it's very slow to start, and then mm-hmm. it picks up. Very, very good. Well, I mean, it's got the mob involved. It's it's got the New Jersey factor, and I like Atlantic City. It's it's historical, so like yeah. it's definitely got some things I, I like about it. I just Steve never, Buscemi it never hooked me. You know, I like the shows that give me that like they just fucking hook me in. You the know, hook. yeah, the hook. All right, we're gonna go rapid fire. Like Prison Break, man, hooks me. What's your favorite sport to watch besides football? Golf. Uh, I say basketball, but it's just because of gambling. It's a lie. Porn. Keenan Allen or James Robinson in full PPR dynasty. James Robinson. Keenan. It's Dynasty. Oh, is that what you said? Oh. That's, my only yeah. re- that's the only reason I went Robinson. In that case, Keenan Allen. I was going to say, I knew you were going to go for it. Man, I want to keep Keenan with Herbert there. Uh, I'll yeah. probably go with James Robinson, though. Full PPR, he's going to catch 120 balls. Beautiful. Kill, marry, fuck. Enchiladas, tacos, nachos. I'm chucking enchiladas. Yeah, I'll fucking I'm kill those. fucking 
And fuck. <sighs> I think you got to marry tacos. You have to because they're always going to be there. You yeah. Fuck nachos. Yeah. yeah. Is Cali Dog the greatest of all time or the greatest ever? Ooh, damn. Talk about a fucking brain buster. The greatest of all time to ever do it. Wow, there it is. Yeah, Why right. is snack such a jabroni? Oh, oh. Shit. No, you're rolling. Shut your mouth, whoever the fuck that is, Vatch. <laughs> <laughs> when should I sell my AMC stock? I sold uh, off. I sold off right before the market closed today. I took my profits. Had a good day. I don't know. Uh, I'm not. I'm not like a crazy gambling high kind of person. Like I used to do that when I was younger. Go to the casino, get up a lot, and then just keep on fucking running back until you lose all your money. This is real money we're playing with here, people. So. I got out after a nice little profit today. Animal, you think you think the open market's gonna hit? I know you're looking at it right now to fucking see if you can. I'm gain trying to see the aftermarket how it um how it's doing. After hours. Oh. So it, it closed at oh it's at down to like 16 right now. Yeah. So it closed at like 19. It's down to 16 and a half. I don't know. I just wanted to get out of that. I, I feel like we're just gonna keep having these little day trips where it's like a new stock each day and you kind of like get on it and see what the well, fuck. Well, yeah, there's a lot going on right now with all the stocks that have a lot of short interest. So any stock that's like over like 35% short interest, you're starting to see Take the people talking about it on Twitter and uh, more and more people getting involved in buying these stocks that normally. Here's just what I'll say. Shorted. If any of you guys are, are, if any of you guys are seeing all this shit happening and you're getting into the game, the only piece of advice I'll say, do not put more into it than you're willing to lose. Yes, that's okay? great advice. That's it. Like, don't just don't get over your head and keep. Yeah, we're not gonna tell you like don't buy stocks. And yeah, this, but listen, just know that if you take like two hundred dollars and put it in, you could lose all that money. If, you, if you're a college very, kid, very yeah, fast. and you're taking out like your eight thousand dollars of savings because you're seeing on Twitter that stocks are going up, are you gonna be fucking okay losing eight thousand dollars? The answer is no. Do not put that much money in. Yeah. Okay. Why is the animal so cute? Ooh. Mm. Is it a hot chick or a hot dude? Uh, it's a chick named Anthony. Oh. All right, Anthony, I like that. Any any like topics in particular that you guys? No, I like these oh, okay, more. I mean, we're probably. I mean, there's like 50 more. How long have we been running for? We're probably we could probably close out soon. All right, well that's gonna wrap up the Q and A, but we do still have the giveaway going on. That will be running through the end of the Super Bowl. So once the Super Bowl is done. February 8th, the giveaway is done. If you want to enter the giveaway, the grand prize is a trip to NYC, completely paid for, round trip included. You get to hang out at the headquarters. You get to probably sleep here, and we'll figure out the rest the, along the way when COVID kind of— Going to get you drunk, shave your eyebrows off? Yeah, we're going to do some wicked shit out here. That's the grand prize giveaway. You're also going to get into a, a league with us for a redraft league. You're going to get into a Big Dogs Dynasty League, uh, all free of entrance, of course. So all you got to do is go to monkeyknifefight.com. You got to deposit $10 on monkeyknifefight.com using the promo code BDGE when you do so, and then play some games on there. Send us screenshots of your plays for the weekend. You could play basketball. You could play whatever other fucking sports whatever are going on Whatever the fuck you want. Whatever the fuck you want. So make sure you send us some screenshots to info at bigdogsfantasy.com. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed. That's it. Beaches. That's, that's all we've got, the beaches. See y'all next time. Peace. Skirt. Hey, hey.